going on guys? Got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today I'm discussing Colette. Colette is a brand new film starring Keira Knightley and it's about a girl named Colette who's pushed by her husband to write novels under his name upon their success. She fights to make her talents known challenging gender norms. Now again, this seems like one of those typical biopics that's going to get shoved under the rug and it's going to make a little bit of money but not a lot and there's going to be some great performances in here and pretty much in the sense become an oscar bait film is it an oscar bait film i don't think so i find this film to actually be very well done and in a lot of different ways a lot of that going to the performances and the direction of this movie which are superbly strong I don't really know where to start at because this film really surprised me. I knew I was probably going to enjoy it, but I didn't know how much I would really enjoy this movie. I think one of the main reasons that I really enjoyed this film was because of Keira Knightley's performance. She is superb in here. Now, when the film starts, you're kind of like getting into it. You're like, oh, she's doing a good job. But there comes a couple moments towards the back half of the movie that everything just builds to that point and she just gives a ferocious, I mean a ferocious performance in all light point where i was getting emotional i was like yes girl do it do it so dominic west plays her husband in here who dominic west is one of those actors who shows up and stuff and does such a damn good job and in this he does another good job too i don't think it's like oscar caliber stuff because I, I think out of all the performances of this year Kieran knightley gives one of the best that i've seen so far but dominic west again is still one of those best he does a d great job portraying this husband giving those emotional beats but it's Kieran knightley that really steals the whole show from every other performance in here to be honest again with all the different types of characters in this film that Colette gets to meet and all the different types of events that she has to go through one of the big things that makes this film stand out the most for me especially all year long is one how the director decided to shoot this film yes the cinematography is beautiful it, it pans a picture I mean it's this biopic type of world where it takes you to Paris where it, where it takes you to the late 1800s and the early 1900s it paints you into there and pushes you into there where it looks beautiful but also not just the score, which is superb and amazing, but also the cinematography and the way that the director paints you into here again, it makes you feel like you're there. This is a film that I don't think you would enjoy as much at home, but a film that you should see on the big screen for that aspect because it makes you feel like you're there. And not a lot of filmmakers can accomplish that. Without a doubt, Wash Westmoreland really did a good job on accomplishing that on every level. The most interesting tidbits that I think he did was every single time Keira Knightley was on the screen, she was in the center of the screen. Not on the side, not on the left, not on the right, not in the back room, but every single time she's on the screen, She's in the center of the stage, always frame centeredly. And that's something that early or on in the film, I was like, oh, that's a cool thing. But throughout the film, I started noticing, I was like, that is such a talented director to really just put it subtly in there and not feel distracting, but feel like it's a representation of who the character is. Even when her husband's taking all the credit for all these certain events that she's doing, she's still in the center. And it really goes to show that, yes, Colette is our singular character that you are following throughout this, no matter who or what or why they're taking credits for what she's doing. The story in here is riveting. It's really top to bottom. It's great. I think if I did have one conduit, I do feel like the pacing in here is a little bit slow in the beginning. It takes a little bit to get to where it's going. But when it finally gets to start building up to what is going on, because they do have to build up this relationship, it works. Being even more honest, I would have really liked to see this film as a miniseries. I feel like there's a lot of details in here that they could have gone more about in Colette's life and some details that they kind of just brush over that I would have liked to focus more on. The character study type of movie, Keira Knightley kills it as Colette. The director did such a good job framing her in each shot and the cinematography and the score in here are superb. And this film to be very underrated and when it comes to biopics, it's sometimes a little bit hard for me to recommend that yes, you need to see this film in the theater. There are certain films I'm like, yeah, if you watch it at home, you can get the same effect. I find this film to be one of those that you have to see in the theater to get the effect that I got. With all that said, I'm going to give Colette a B+. Are you guys excited to see this film? Comment down below and tell me your thoughts. Have you seen it already? Let's talk about it. So if you guys are new here, hit up Sandwich on Films right down there because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens, even check out some movie news, and even some movie reviews. But of course, guys, until next time, stay classy.